Briyama can't take his eyes off Kazuichi. It's a pimp's entourage reunion. <laughs> My boy. Day, good people. It is another fine day, Friday, in the year of the horizon. You're flying to that unknown with Toon Link, Dave, and your United States Aviator, and welcome back to more. Gun Gun Rumpa Hunger Games. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are ready for this one because we are at the tail end of Teach Music Week. That is correct, and we've got three teams, and we've, we've got three, three ultimate three fantastic ultimates who are going to be teaching some music today. We got freaking Sayako, we got Ibuki, and we've got Kaede representing pop, rock, and classical, respectively. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to introduce the teams of who they will be teaching today. Learn some music anyway. You can learn at home while you're home, but if you're not, if you're still going to music class, good on you. Let's learn some music with Team Pop featuring freaking Saika as their team captain. Teru Teru and Mahiru are here as well. Makoto also here as he enjoys some pop music. And Fumi also loving the pop. Chiaki loving the pop. Himiko loving the pop. Kotoko loving the pop. Ruruka loving the pop. And I bet you're wondering why does this team have nine and the rest have ten? Monophony was here, but yeah, if you saw last episode, you'll know why she's not here anymore. <laughs> it's not hard to connect the dots if you didn't watch last episode. <laughs> We'll move on to Team Rock, and Team Rock consists of Ibuki, Leon, Akane, Sonya rocking out, Kazuichi rocking out, Izuyoi, our boy rocking out, Ryoma rocking out, Mas uh, Masaru rocking out, Monikid rocking out, and the Great Gozu rocking out. And on Team Classical, the stoic group that we have here today, we have Miss Kaye Day learning some classical music with Kyoko. Celeste, Mukuro, Pekko, Shuichi, Taichi, Nagisa, Kori in the house, and Kurumi. And those are our three teams today, but only one will come out on top because this is a singles episode, which means I gotta break out the secret of genius. Where is that? Where? This is okay. For some reason, it's actually not underneath my, uh, it's not underneath my keyboard. Oh, it's right here. It's on my desk. I just haven't moved it. Ladies and gentlemen, the secret of genius. Oh, look at that moniker. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a lot of secret achievements still to go. Will any of them hit? A couple of them probably will. Maybe one. I'm surprised one of these hasn't hit, I'm all being really honest. But tell me in the comments, which team would you like to be a part of? Are you, which music do you like the best? Are you a pop? You loving the rock? Or are you more of a classical vibe? And I will answer that question, but you guys also have to answer who you think is gonna get first place? Who do you think is going to be last? That's it. Just those three questions. Pop, rock, or classic? Who's first? Who's last? That's all I gotta ask you guys today. That's all I have to ask you guys today. Because it's Teach Music Week. You know what? I'll ask you guys an extra question since it is the end of Teach Music Week. Um, do you play music? Can you play an instrument? What instrument can you play? I'll answer those questions as well after I remind you guys about the OC episode. Just a real quick reminder. Oh, it's... The entries are closing. The entries are closing, you guys. You don't have much more time. You don't have much time at all left. You can get it in real quick. You can get it in real quick because the entries are closing real soon. They're closing real, real soon. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys... Well, if I were picking a team, I gotta pick... Oof. Honestly, I'm fine with all three of these genres. But I think... Uh, it's really tough between rock and classical for me, if I'm being completely honest. I think I might go... Oh, I might go rock. I'll go rock. I'll go, I, I'll go classic rock. I'll go with that. I'm fine with that. I like that. All right. Um, do I play any instruments? I play a couple of instruments. I play ukulele. I play trombone. Slowly learning guitar. I play something else. What else do I play? I play something else. I don't know right now. Um, I played a little trumpet for a while. I know trombone way better though. Uh, trombone squad. I was once the lone trombone for a long time, but because we didn't have a large school. Our high school wasn't that large. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see, if I'm picking a winner. My ride or die this season is Kaye Day, but I don't, I don't think she's winning this one. I think the winner of this episode is gonna be Himiko. I got Himiko for the win this time. 
In terms of who do I think is going to get last place, unfortunately, I believe our friend Taichi is going to get banished to the Despair Dimension. Those are my picks, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully your picks do well. Also remember that in the simulator now, if you get lost, never to be seen again, if you walk off, wander off, get lost, never to be seen again, that is the same as wandering into the Despair Dimension. That has given this simulator a little bit of extra flair, a little bit of extra, who knew, a little bit of extra chaos. Mikan's not in this episode, but you know, a little bit of extra chaos. Ladies and gentlemen, you guys right. We can't re we can't click resimulate a bunch of times for this one. We just gotta go ahead and start. We gotta start round one. Are you guys prepared? It is pop. It is rock, and it is classical. Pop is at a strategic disadvantage because of yesterday's episode, but they can still come out on top. Anything can happen in this simulator. And let me make sure nobody else has any random items that I didn't feel. Yeah, I, nobody's got any random items. We can go ahead. We can start round one to see what awaits on. The horizon who wins beyond the horizon will start round one to find out because ladies and gentlemen as it all starts off it's kind of a bloodbath but it's really just round one there are tributes so there are still horns there might not be podiums but there are still horns do you hear those those are the horns and someone has sounded the horns <sighs> fantastic thank you for sounding the horns mysterious i wonder who sounds the horns every time i'm proud of it um Nagisa has a horrible feeling in his chest. Monokid looks like he's on the verge of snapping. Masaru attempts to kill Nagisa, but Kyoko intervenes just in time. Kyoko had to kill Masaru to protect Nagisa's life. Masaru, you've had some clutch moments this season. It hurts. You do. You usually do pretty well in these seasons. In fact, you were trying to do well again, but you couldn't get the jump on Nagisa. Kyoko came in, and because of her, I'm sorry, my boy. Small child, you're gonna have to join. Your warrior of hope, Associate Monica, in the despair dimension. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's out of here. Rest in peace to Masaru. Maybe he can get brought back. Is Maki in this episode? She's not. Who knows? He'll get brought back eventually. If not, he'll be in the last episode of the season because remember, everyone who's in the despair dimension has one chance to duke it out at the end of the season. And I think that's going to be a fun episode. Celeste looks for someone dumb enough to believe her. Mukuro won't give up so easily. You know what would be the worst? Getting pulled out of the despair dimension the episode before that. That would suck. That would absolutely suck. Um, Himiko finds a shotgun. She starts thinking of the damage she can do. That's my pick. Peko feels strong enough to handle anything. Teruturo wants this to be over already. Kaede is wearing leather scrap and she is now teaching piano while wearing a cave woman outfit. I don't know if that's a good idea. Makoto seems to find Hifumi's, uh, who, uh, Fumi's presence soothing. Kyoko wants to protect Kaede. Freaking Sayaka attempts to kill Kaede, and Kyoko really did want to protect her. Unfortunately, Kyoko died in the attempt this time. You got lucky, Kyoko, because you were almost first. You've been, you were really trying to protect everyone, and you just couldn't do it. Poor Kyoko. Karumi, thanks Peko for being there for her. Leon recalls something about the fellow red-haired friend of his, and he sobs quietly. Akane murders my pick. Gosh darn it, Akane. In front of freaking Saika, freaking Saika rushes to help, but it's already too late. Hifumi hopes he doesn't have to harm anybody. Sonya still can't believe that Akane has killed someone. Shuichi tries to keep on a brave face for everyone's sake. The great Gozu sobs quietly. Chiaki and Kotoko's fingers touch by accident. They both blush a little bit. Taichi asks Shuichi if he's found anything useful. Abuki really doesn't understand what's happening. Kazuichi tries to get others to notice him. Izioi finds a dapper suit and puts it on. Ryoma mopes around uselessly. Cory in the house feels like Kaye Day is slowing him down and kills the team captain. He was like, I can teach piano better than anyone, especially you, Miss Ultimate Pianist. And Ruruka whispers some things into Fumi's ear, but he's a bit too un uh, innocent to understand. Mahiru is being adorable as always, and Katoko somehow finds a bunch of tactical combat gear and equips it. It provides optimal protection for the whole body without sacrificing flexibility. Ladies and gentlemen, we lost four. Four people are lost today. Can we get a Claire de Lune 4? Masaru. Kyoko. Himiko. Kaye. Dei. And that leaves us with 25 more souls. 25 people remain. 25! What, what, what can we do? 25 people that's one more than a standard size game of the hunger game so we still got plenty of people to go you guys still have 15 people to lose until you get a saving grace pick first of all you guys got plenty of time so we gotta proceed to see who who i need a saving grace pick because himiko got out real early and that's not a good thing for me we'll go ahead and proceed at the start of it all round two sonya has made some mistakes as a leader but wants to do right by team rock <laughs> 
<laughs> team Rock. In an act of betrayal, Karumi and Mukuro team up and murder Taichi. You betrayers, how could you? Makoto does his best to avoid Katoko. Nagisa tries to kill Katoko, but her combat, ear, uh, her combat gear diverts the blow. Ryoma can't take his eyes off Kazuichi. It's a pimp's entourage reunion. <laughs> My boy. Kazuichi thinks he uh, thinks about what he did to end up here. Akane spots something shiny in the distance. Pekko just wants to uh, to be a helpful man. I'm still gushing over them reuniting. I'm so proud. It reunited and it feels so good, so good. Um, Terra Terra wants it to be over already. Freaking Fry, uh, freaking Saika snaps out of it. Shuichi challenges Terra Terra to a duel and makes it all over for him because Terra Terra bites the dust. Leon admires Akane's strength. Katoka looks menacing in that combat gear. Mahiru. Still can't believe that Psycho's killed someone. Izioi wonders about the future. Monica tells a joke, but it keeps falling flat. Kyoko's dead. Ruruka is looking around, uh, looking out only for herself. Uh, Chiaki finds some leather scraps, and she is now a cave gamer. Cory in the house attacks Katoko and Mahiru from behind, killing them both. Rest in peace to a lot of them. Kafumi seems to find Chiaki's presence soothing. Ibuki remembers how much she misses Masaru. Celeste, gosh darn it, tries to kill Monica, but Monica retaliates and kills her instead. But Celeste, come on, you gotta do better than that. I know, I know inside you got the will to be a winner. I know you can do it. This has to be a season. And the great Gozu sizes his muscles. Ladies and gentlemen, we lost another five. We are in a total of nine dead. Only 20 remain. Ten more until you're saving Grace Pick. But right now, we need a clear day loop for our fallen five. Taichi. Teru Teru, Katoka, Mahiru, Celeste, and with 20 people remaining, you still gotta sit and wait for a saving grace pick. If you're like me and your pick has died early, it happens. It happens sometimes. I'm usually pretty good with the initial picks and then I don't need a saving grace pick and then it just all goes horribly wrong. All goes horribly wrong. But, ladies and gentlemen, Let's get into it. We got 10 people to go until the saving grace pick. 19 people until we get a singles winner for today. And we've got secret achievements on the line. So who's coming out on top? I haven't the slightest, but we have to click next round to see who it might be at the start of round three. Freaking Saika looks for someone dumb enough to believe her. Nagisa and Shuichi get into an argument over who should be in charge. Chiaki thanks Makoto for being there for her. Ruruka found a laser gun. She starts swinging around making pew pew, pew pew sounds before she realized she could just pull the trigger and make those sounds for real. Uh-oh. <laughs> Mukuro and Kurumi conspire against Shuichi. Sonya hopes to get everyone out of here. Well, the boss is your team is actually doing really well. Hold on, Sonya. Holy heck. Nine people have gone and only one person has been from Team Rock. Akane attempts to kill Mukuro, but Nagisa intervenes to protect her. Unfortunately, Nagisa dies in the attempt. It's okay, Nagisa. Hopefully, Mukuro wins. Otherwise, your, your sacrifice is in vain. Makoto and Freakin' Sayaka's fingers touch by accident, they both blush a little bit. Uh... <laughs> Ryoma hopes they don't have to harm anyone. Izuhoi finds a lovely bikini and puts it on, it's quite revealing. Uh, Kazuichi doesn't care much for this place, Ibuki admires Sony's decisiveness. Pekko is ready to defend her friends. Karumi has a horrible feeling in her gut. Leon fails to grasp the gravity of the situation. Monika looks like he's on the verge of snapping. Shuichi does his best to avoid Karumi. Cory in the house attacks Leon from behind and slaughters him. The Great Gozu attempts to kill Chiaki, but Makoto intervenes just in time. Luckily, Makoto is lucky enough to kill the Great Gozu to protect Chiaki's life. Congratulations, you protected the champ. Hifumi can't take his eyes off of Ruruko. We lost another three. Three more gone, 17 remain, 12 are dead, seven more until you're saving grace picks. A lucky seven until you're saving grace picks. And you know, just save somebody, Makoto. So maybe that's saying, hey, Makoto is saying, hey, pick me for your saving grace pick. But we aren't there yet. He could still die before that part even happens because we have to hit a clear day loom four. Nakisa. Leon. The Great Gozu. We got folks remaining. 17 folks. So we can't just sit down. I'm gonna move this light a little bit because it's flashing right into my eyes. <laughs> there we go. All right. Whew. All right, you guys. We have, what, 17 remaining. It is time to keep going. I can see again. Thank goodness. Let's proceed. It is the start of round four, and Karumi is looking for an easy out. Izuo is very proud of his bikini. He is flaunting it all over the place while holding all sorts of sharp knives because he is the ultimate blacksmith. Ruruka shoots her laser gun at Ryoma. Good thing she can't aim. 
Freaking Sayaka does something really cute. I doubt it. You aren't cute at all, freaking Sayaka. Mukuro is determined to survive this. Akane looks around for stuff to ground. Sonya feels horrible for bailing Team Rocky. We've lost two more people. Uh, Peko thinks about Taichi and sobs quietly. Himiko's lifeless body is writhing with Magus. Chiaki can't stop fawning over freaking Sayaka. Stop fawning over freaking Sayaka. Monica somehow finds a suit of medieval armor and puts it on and gleams with a dazzling shine. Cory and House and Kurumi conspire against Peko. Ryoma sobs quietly. Ibuki admires Akane's muscles. Makoto seems to find Chiaki's presence soothing. You guys are really bonding this game. Uh, Hifumi hopes he's done after Harmony 1. Shuichi manages to sneak attack the, the pimp and the entourage member. How could you? How could you? <laughs> Kazuichi and Ryoma slaughtering them both. How could you, Shuichi? Poor K. Uh, Celeste's Corp is hurt. She's dead. We lost two more people. My boys. My good boys. Can we get a Claire de Lune 4? Kazuichi. Ryoma. At least they went out together. They were probably sticking, they were sticking together, they were trying to win this thing together, they were trying to bring back everyone, uh, every, all the rest of the entourage, and, and it's just, it just didn't happen. It's a shame. It's a big old shame. But, we only have five people left until your saving grace pick. We are halfway, just about halfway, just under halfway through the field, actually. So, are you guys ready? Because I am prepared. I think we all are prepared. We have to see what happens next. And the only way to see that is by clicking next round. So let's go ahead and do it. Because of the start of it all, Kyoko's dead. But Mukuro murders Chiaki before freaking Sai can, re uh, can react. There's nothing freaking Sai can do. Rest in peace to her. Freaking Sai is now on the verge of a nervous breakdown. Makoto wants. To <laughs> never wants to kill anyone ever again. I th that seems like Makoto. He seems like a stand-up guy. Izioi looks amazing in his dapper suit. Monikid kind of wanders off and gets lost, never to be seen again. You know what that means, you guys. It means that this episode, we have just... This week, we've lost two of the... Two of the, uh... The Monikubs. The Monikids? The Monikubs, not the Monikids. Monikid is the one who's about to get banished to the Despair Dimension. That's right, he is... Lost, never to be seen again. He is lost in the despair dimension. So long to you, Monikid. I gotta add you to my list. It's truly a shame. Rest in peace to you, Mana. I'll put you right next to Monophony, Monikid. This list is filling up. Some people, some more people need to get saved. We haven't had a lot of people save people. Jeez, Louise. Akane feels strong enough to handle anything. Abuki is ready to defend her friend Sonya. Still can't believe Akane has killed someone. Ruruka feels unstoppable with her laser gun. Hifumi and Makoto's fingers touched by accident. They both blush a little bit. Cory in the house sets down a trap. Pekko hums a song to herself. And Shuichi has made some mistakes as a leader but wants to do right by classical. In, in Kaede's stead, of course. Kurumi gets caught in one of Cory in the house's traps and now all she can do is hope to be free. We lost another two, three more into her saving grace pick. But can we get a Claire de Lune 4? The champion. Chiaki. Monokid. Lost to the despair dimension. Which means with just 13 people left, I think we are gonna just take a quick peek. Just because, even though three people will be looking here again instead. Um, Team Classical still has Mukuro, Peko, Shuichi, Cory in the house, and Kurumi. Team Pop still has freaking Saika, Makoto, Hafumi, and Maruka. Team Rock still has Abuki, Akane, Sonya, Izayoi, and that's it. So that's a lot. It's still fairly even matchup. Still fairly even. Not nobody's like at one person. That's happened before. But we're gonna go ahead. Let's go ahead. Let's click next round. Let's see what happens. 13 gone. Oh, I'm sorry. 16 gone. 13 remain. And at the start of round six, it looks pretty peaceful. If I'm being completely honest, this move girl can't wait to kill again. Well, that doesn't sound very peaceful. Maybe I was wrong. Taichi's dead. Kurumi is trapped and can't do anything. Shuichi tries to keep on a brave face for everyone's sake. Makoto is really worried about freaking Sayaka. Pekko finds Kurumi caught in a trap and manages to free her. What a good time. What a good partner. Um, Kazuchi's dead. Sonya finds a dapper suit, puts it on. It's pretty fetching. Freaking Sayaka sobs quietly. Abuki fails to grasp the gravity of the situation. Izioi tries to kill Pekko, but Pekko retaliates and kills him instead. Rest in peace to Izioi. He had an amazing game yesterday, but not today. Hifumi thanks Makoto for being there for him. Akane spots something shiny in the distance. Ruka whispers something in Hifumi's ear, but why do you keep whispering these naughty things in Hifumi's ear? Your boyfriend was in this entire game, and as soon as he's gone, you're like, I'm gonna whisper in this man's ear again. Uh, something inside of Cory now snaps, and now Cory in the house is frenzied. Ladies and gentlemen, we lost one. One loss. Can we get a Claire de Lune 4? Izayoi. 12 people. 
We lose two. And you guys get a saving grace pick. But we, we gotta just keep going. We only lost one person, Izio, and he was on Team Rock? Team Rock, I'm pretty sure. Let's go ahead. It's next round time. Let's click it. You will probably lose your two if I'm thinking about it. Yes, you will definitely lose your two. Ladies and gentlemen, Pekka wishes she didn't have to kill anybody, but she's gotta do it. She doesn't want to be a tool anymore. Fuhiko isn't even here. Akane attempts to kill Cory in the house, but Shuichi intervenes to protect him. Unfortunately, Shuichi dies in the attempt. What a good... He took over for Kaede. It was Kaede's wish, but... You saved Cory in the house. I don't know if that would have been a good wish. <laughs> Kurumi looks for someone dumb enough to believe her. Ibuki is ready to defend her friends. Izio arrives with maggots. Makoto can't take his eyes off of Ruruka. Sonya still can't believe Akane has killed someone. She just killed somebody else. <laughs> in an act of betrayal, Mukuro and Kurumi are really doing a lot of betraying. And they team up and get rid of Peko. Freaking Saiga just wants it to end already. She's still in this thing and I'm not liking it. Cory in the house is looking around maniacally seething. The dead husk of Celeste is writhing with maggots. Teru Teru is dead. Ruka shoots several white hot holes in Mukuro's body using her laser gun. And Hifumi thinks about Chiaki and sobs quietly. We lost three. We are at your final nine. Which means after this Claire de Lune four. Shuichi. Peko. Mukuro. It is time for your Saving Grace Picks. Team Classical now only has Cory in the house and Kurumi as the final two souls. If we move on to Team Rock, we have Ibuki, we have Akane, we have So as the final three, which means with four people, Team Rock, I'm sorry, Team Pop is doing the best. They have freaking Saika, they have Makoto, they have Fafumi, and they have Veruka. It is a 4v3v2 who will come out on top. I have no idea. But you have to make your saving grace picks known by liking and subscribing because we're, we're doing very well in terms of subscribers. We have to like and subscribe, but you also have to comment. Either you either have to comment, you have to reply to your comment, you have to like your own con- I don't know what you gotta do. You gotta go down and make your saving grace pick known. You gotta go to Facebook <laughs> and make a comment saying, Hey, look, my saving grace pick is- And everyone's gonna be so confused, they'll be like, what? And then you'll just be like, don't worry about it. <laughs> don't do that. Unless you're nuts, then okay, fine, whatever. I don't even use Facebook. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, are you guys ready? I need to make my saving grace pick, and I- I'm gonna go Karumi. You guys, I don't know, I haven't said it in a hot minute, but I do love her really. She's great. She's one of my favorites. I, she probably shouldn't be, but she's one of my favorites. Solely by design, if I'm being completely honest. But, it's your final nine, which means this time, we can hit Samurai Woman. That's right, such a good song. I'm so excited for more your turn to die, if I'm being completely honest. Are you guys ready for this? Let's go ahead, let's click next round. We gotta get ourselves a winner. At the start of it all, Freaking garbage. <laughs> this game is garbage. <laughs> Round nine. Sonya and Ibuki's fingers touch by accident. They both blush a little bit. Hibumi doesn't go prepared for this. Any of this, if I'm being completely honest. Akane wants to end things one for all with Kurumi. Kurumi bites the dust. So much for my saving grace. Thing. Makoto comes a song to himself. Ibuki admires Akane's strength. Cory in the house. His frenzy finally dies down. Nagisa's dead. Ruka seems unshaken by any of this. And freaking Sayaka snaps out of it. We lost one. One soul gone. Can we get a Claire de Lune 4? My saving grace pick. A master of the grill. Karumi. Which means it's your final eight of Abuki, Sonya, Hifumi, Akane, Makoto, Abu I've already said Abuki. Uh, Cory in the house, Ruruka, and freaking Saika. Who's coming out on top? I don't know. Hopefully your saving grace with pick wasn't the same as mine because I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm hurt, you guys. Kurumi, it was almost your time. It was almost your time to be. Let's go ahead, though, and click next round. Hit that samurai woman again. Let's do it. At the start, well, I guess that's, that's a kind of retribution for me, but I don't want that retribution from that person. Akane sizes her muscles. Celeste is dead. Hifumi does his best to avoid freaking Sayaka, that's wise. Sonya still hopes to get everyone out of here, and by everyone, she means Akane, Abuki, and herself. And that's not going to happen. <laughs> Makoto seems to find uh, Hifumi's presence soothing. Abuki doesn't really understand what's going on. Freaking Sayaka ambushes Akane and murders her. Rest in peace to her. Someone needs to get Sayaka out of here now. I'm looking at this. Cory in the house twitches uncontrollably, and Raruka tries to get others to notice her. Akane, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. You have the most horrible death right now, dying to 
freaking Sayaka. A, a menace to society. So I'm gonna hit this Claire de Lune for you. Akane. It's your final seven. Well, we get lucky enough to, uh, you know, see freaking Sayaka get out. <laughs> you know, that'd be great. <laughs> I'm fine with that. <laughs> let's do that. Right, guys? Somebody? Anybody? Anybody, please? Let's go ahead. Let's click next round. We cannot wait to get ourselves a winner as the start of round 10 begins. Abuki is ready to defend her friends. Cory in the house won't die like the others. Sonya is sheep wrangling, but now she's got a sword to help her do it? <laughs> she's a dangerous sheep wrangler now. Makoto wants to protect freaking Sayaka. You stop this, Makoto. You disgusting, vile, human sack of garbage. <laughs> uh, Hifumi thanks Makoto for being there for him. Freaking Sayaka's being adorable as always. Questionable. Ruruka and Freaking Sayaka conspire against Hifumi. That's some old tag team action. Season 3 tag team teaming up right there. Uh, Masaru rides with maggots, and Kotoko is also rising with maggots. I guess they're buddies. Uh, we'll go to the next round. Nobody died, but... Chiaki. Ooh, yikes, bad things are happening a little bit lower. Chiaki's dead. Hufumi wants it to be over already. The dead husk of Taichi rots peacefully. Freaking Sayaka catches a strange glow in the corner of her eyes and discovers an ancient scepter. Arcane magic courses through her body as her fingers touch the carved wood. Someone stop her, please. <laughs> Hibuki admires Sonya's leadership. Makoto can't take his eyes off of Ruka. Ruka feels unstoppable with her laser gun, and Cory in the house gets cocky and ends up dying from a stupid mistake. Sonya swooshes the air with her sword. We lost one. It's our final six. Freaking Saga has an arcane staff, an ancient scepter, but we can't focus on that. We gotta get a clarity loon for our boy. He is out of the house. Cory in the house. Sonya, Makoto, Ruruka. Ibuki, Hifumi, who am I missing? I'm missing them all. One, two, did I say Sayaka? I don't wanna, I just don't wanna say Sayaka's name. I like to imagine that Sayaka doesn't exist in this game. Hopefully the game continues to do that too by making her die next round, right? That seems like a good idea, right? Let's just do it, let's see it happen. Uh, at the, this round, nothing happens, Ruka. It keeps whispering into Hifumi's ear. What are you whispering into his ear? He's too innocent. He's a good boy. Hifumi doesn't feel prepared for any of this. Ibuki has a horrible feeling in her gut. Saika polishes her ancient scepter, making the magic orb shine. Kurumi's dead. Sony feels horrible for failing. Team Rock! Makoto just wants to be useful already. We'll click next round. No! Freaking Saika calls Arcane Fury down on Sonya. Her ancient scepter beaming with an inner rage. For a second, nothing happens. Sonya opens her mouth to say something, then starts peeling away. Later... It seems the sword was not mightier than the ancient scepter today. Ruka shoots several, uh, shoots her laser gun at Ibuki. Good thing she can't aim. Ibuki is the only person remaining for Team Pop. Is it just Team Pop versus, I'm sorry, Team Rock? Oh, is it only Team Rock versus Team Pop? I think it is. Ibuki is all alone, and she is the, she is the captain of that team. Makoto wishes he didn't have to kill anybody. Uh... Kyoko's dead. Fumi still can't believe that Ruka has killed someone. Ah, you better believe it. You really don't know her. If you don't know her by now. Uh, Ibuki doesn't really understand what's happening, but we lost one person. She's had pretty a pretty back and forth season this time. She's been banished. She's won. But can we get a clear day loon for? Sheep wrangling Sonya. Which means, yeah, we'll look at the details. It's Ibuki from Team Rock versus freaking Sayaka, Makoto, Hifumi, and Ruruka, all from Team Pop. Who's coming out on top? I have not a clue. But we have to hit the crisis of fate because this is a crisis, so uh, freaking Sayaka's still in. Makoto could get lucky, Ruruka could get her first win, Hifumi could get a win too, Ibuki could get you guys a fan vote, but who boy. We're getting close. Ibuki, do me a solid and get freaking Sayaka out at this next round. Oh no. We gotta put the four of them into a separate game as freaking Saika and Ruka ambush Ibuki killing her. That's old tag team work. Hifumi and Makoto's fingers touch by accident they both flush a little bit. Makoto does his best to avoid freaking Saika and Ruka seems unshaken by any of this. We gotta give a Claire de Lune. She fought hard, strong, she was the last person on her team, but a Claire de Lune goes to... Ibuki. So in terms of the people who are still alive, Freakin' Taika has four kills, uh, Ruruka has two, Makoto has one, and Hifumi is the only person who could get a pacifist victory. Alright, you guys. <sighs> you know what we gotta do? We gotta take Saika, 
Haruka, Makoto, and Hafumi into their own separate game. Gonna make sure I got, I got this. It's right there. I see it. <sighs> Let's do it. I gotta go back to team setup. We have to, and they were the team with one less person and they had four people remaining. That's actually really impressive now that I'm looking at it. Uh, you were not here, you were not here, you're there, you're there, and everyone else can go, which means these are your final four, you guys. Freaking Sayaka, Makoto, Hifumi, and Raruka. That's this game. That's your final four. You know what we have to do. You've seen it? It's these four. We got a star round one. It is anybody's game. I can only hope it's... Ugh. It's not looking good for Hifumi. It's not. I'll be frank. <laughs> But we gotta keep going. Let's start round one, which is really the uh, another round so far into the future. Ruka hums a song to herself. Freaking Tai looks for someone dumb enough to believe her. Makoto stares into the distance, and Ifumi doesn't feel prepared for any of this. Next round, Ruka tries to kill Makoto, but he is lucky, retaliates, and kills her instead. Makoto has a horrible feeling in his gut. Ifumi grills, uh, fails to grasp the gravity of the situation, and Freaking Tai is being adorable as always. We lost one person. It is. Sayaka's old tag team partner, hopefully Sayaka will suffer the same fate as the Claire de Lune recipient for this round. Ruruka. It is Hifumi, Makoto, and freaking Sayaka. Makoto has had a fantastic season, if I won't. Can't lie. That boy has had a good season. Uh, Hifumi. Uh, could get lucky. Could get lucky. Uh, freaking Sayaka. I'm scared. I'm scared, you guys. I am scared. You guys know she's pretty good in the simulator. Now she's trying to show it again. She's trying to peer her head up into the the, the good old-fashioned, oh, hello, I'm freaking Sayaka trying to sneak into the finale, hit the crisis of fate, maybe, because for all I know, it could end next round. Play some song. I'm gonna click next round. Let's see what happens. Yikes. Round three, Makoto wonders about the future. Hifumi hopes he doesn't to harm anyone, and he does, he does not. Freaking Sayaka makes sure because she attacks Hifumi from behind and kills him. Stabs him in the back like the backstabber that she is. Ladies and gentlemen, can we get a Claire de Lune 4? Hifumi. And we have an interesting final two. Makoto, who wonders about the future. Freaking Sayaka who is a menace. These two have a history. Not in the, not really in the Hunger Games, but in the actual games, in the canon, these two have a history. Who's coming out on top? I don't know. Is it going to be Makoto, the ultimate lucky boy? Or will it be freaking Sayaka? I don't know. Will a, will a secret achievement happen here at the end? It could. It could. In fact, two could technically happen at the very end if things go according to plan. Or oh, according to plan. According to luck. According to RNG. Alright. Uh, it is Makoto, and it is freaking Sayaka. Makoto? Freaking Sayaka. Makoto! Freaking Sayaka! Nobody. Freaking Sayaka can't wait to kill again. Makoto's just nonchalantly saying, huh. Humming a song to himself, probably a freaking Sayaka song, because that man's a freaking Sayaka. <sighs> we'll click next round. Makoto wonders about the future. Sayaka's looking for an easy way out. Maybe she'll wander off and get lost, never to be seen again. Ah! That did not happen. Makoto's still humming to himself, and freaking Sayaka's being adorable as always. Next round! Sayaka looks for someone dumb enough to believe her. That is Makoto. He's humming. He's. This man is the ultimate hummer now. Next round, he's staring into the distance. Freaking Sayaka's being adorable as always. Freaking Sayaka tries to kill Makoto. But Makoto retaliates and kills her instead. This is not what we all expected. We all knew that freaking Sayaka was supposed to win this. We all knew that this was her game. When those four were in their, 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 their special places, we all knew that it was freaking Sayaka's time to win this thing. But by the grace of his luck, getting a Claire de Lune 4, freaking Sayaka. Today's winner, picking up an absolutely glorious win! Makoto Naegi on Team Pop.
You did it. Makoto, I'm proud of you. You're the man. It never, I never doubted you. Never for, I doubted you. I really did. I, I was prepared to give like a, uh, uh, well, it happened. It, it happened sometimes. I expected freaking Sayaka to win, but Makoto, you saved me from a little heart attack. I believe you. I believe you. Thank you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll bring up the winner's bracket real quick. Congratulations. This man has given you guys a fan vote. Congratulations, Makoto. As long as you guys don't vote in free Saga, don't do it. I swear. I'll come after you. I won't. I'll just be disappointed. I'll just stare at you at the very beginning of the finale like... Disappointed, you guys. I, I won't even be the finale. I will stare at you at the beginning or at the tail end of uh, the By the Numbers episode this season. As I'm announcing the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the actual people, I'll be like, I'm disappointed. How could you guys do this? You savages. <laughs> you savages. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Makoto came out on top. Freaking Saiga had the most kills today. She had five, because she had four before. Makoto picked up two here. This was it. I'm proud. Team Pop won. Freaking Saiga, I guess, was the best team captain, and she even ended up second place. But Makoto was just lucky enough to win and get you guys a fan vote. And once again, no secret achievements. But maybe... Ooh, ooh, next week. Oh, next Thursday. I keep forgetting next Thursday is episode. I really, I'm really excited for the concept. I think you guys are really going to enjoy next Thursday. I really think you're going to enjoy next Thursday. Be sure to tune in next Thursday. Ladies and gentlemen, also next Friday is the... Someone gets saved from the Despair Dimension because it is the end of the month. It will be Fallen Tributes, or not Fallen Tributes, Helping Hand to all the teams who have a missing person or more will be able to try and bring them back because they will all be in a game again and this time that game will definitely be larger and it will probably definitely only feature the teams that are missing someone. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Stay classy. I'm taking off. It's the year of the horizon. Toodaloo. Flight crew. Thanks for watching. Oh, I'm actually really excited for next week. <laughs> next week, this week was, this week was fun, but next week's gonna be fun. Next week's gonna be real fun. And then the week after that is the OC episode. It's really, it's all coming together. It's almost the end of the season. And geez Louise, this year is going by kind of fast. Toodaloo, Flight crew.